lot of answers himself before he makes his Phoenix Suns debut tonight in Boston. We're joined by Kelly Oubre. Kelly, th thanks for taking some time out. I know it's been a, a crazy few days for you here. First and foremost, man, we got to get one thing out of the way. We know athletes are superstitious. You wear 12 with the Wizards, and now we're going to see you in number three. Tell us what yeah. that's all about. Honestly, 12 is a dividend of three. Uh, you know, so three is the root of everything, and you know, it's really deeper than that. Um, the leg of three is definitely, you know, a number that, that hits me in the core, so I'm excited to rep it. Well, Kelly, I was told there would be no math tonight, so thanks for screwing that up for me. Because that's, that's not my strength here. <laughs> hey, listen, th th there's no doubt about it that Friday night into Saturday night, NBA Twitter was on fire watching what was going on with all the craziness of the three-team deal that had you on your way to Memphis before ultimately going to Phoenix where you are now. Listen, I, I don't know that we all recognize that there's a human element to it. So for you, playing in Brooklyn, losing that game with the Wizards, what was that period like for you? Can take us inside. Um, you know, played a game. It was a regular day for me um, after the game. You know, there were some speculations on Twitter, and, you know, everybody was talking about it. And uh, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting ready to get in the shower and everything, and I go in the shower, and everybody's kind of just looking at me, and, you know, with, with this look, and I feel the energy. And I'm like, you know, what's going on? Why y'all looking at me like that? And, you know, guys told me, uh, you know, Yo, you got traded to Memphis and all that. So, uh, you know, I just kept my cool because, you know, I didn't see it yet. My agent hadn't called me, so I didn't really know it was the deal. But, you know, it, it wound up to be true, and then it fell through. And then, um, you know, I'm, I'm on the bus on the plane with the team, and everybody's just like, man, that was messy up and I'm like okay cool next morning I get a call from you know Tommy and Ernie that I've been traded to Phoenix and honestly you know I didn't have I was a super numb at that time so you know I didn't have any feelings towards it and I'm here now man it's a blessing honestly well, well Kelly it's amazing that you're only in your fourth year because you've been through an awful lot in your short time in the NBA and you know now that you're with a team that is building from the ground up with great expectations down the road what are you able to share with your new teammates about some things that they may never have even thought about that impact winning and losing and success or failure on the court that you got to observe during your time in D.C.? The game is full of ebbs and flows, man. Uh, you know, ebbs and flows, ups and downs, highs and lows. So, you know, at the end of the day, you have to continue to move forward. You have to continue to persevere through all the adversity that comes your way, man, and just come out on top. Uh, you know, I've been through a lot of adversity, but I'm still here. I'm still fighting strong. And, you know, if anything, I've come out on top and I'm going to continue to do so. So, you know, also that just you have to continue to think next play, you know, no matter how you, how you do on the court or if you mess up, you have to continue that. Everything will be all right, man. Just keep going. So. Kelly, as we, we know from watching you, you're a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. So how perfect is it that your first game with the Phoenix Suns is against the team that you've had some heated battles with over your years in the league? What's it like to be back in Boston, a place that you have gone, like I said, to war with this team? Yeah, uh, to, you know, now next next man up, I'm going to war with a with new team, man, and I'm happy and I'm excited for the opportunity. It'll be, a, you know, it'll be a great game tonight, man. We've got to come on and play hard, just like we've been doing the past four games. So I'm excited.